I am going to show you how to easily apply a crochet edge to a knitted piece of work. And in this case, this is a washcloth, a waffle knit washcloth that I made. And you can grab the pattern. I'll link to it in the description below. It's an easy little pattern and it is fine as is, right? It's just, it's a lovely little washcloth. But if you wanted to add a little color to it, uh, you can add a crochet edge. And if you've never crocheted before, you're just not confident in your crochet skills, this is for you. This is basic crochet. And really, this is the only time I ever use crochet is uh, to add little borders and things. So um, I'm just using a contrasting color here. And I'm using um, Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. And right now I have a G6 crochet hook. All right. and. Um, I'm going to start picking up on the, uh, it's either the cast on or the bind, this is the bind off row. And uh, it, it's easier to do the bind off pick up and then we'll work on the vertical edge after that. All right. So how we're starting, I'm going to go in just from the corner just a little bit because when we come around, I'm going to close that corner off. So I just like to come in a little and we're going to pick up on the cast on and bind off row. We're going to pick up one pick up one stitch for every stitch on here and and specifically i want you to pay attention to the um the little v's that form on the edge of your work all right and we're going to be going under those v's and it's a little harder to see those v's on the vertical edge they are there but they're harder to see it's really easy to see them on especially the bind off edge okay so i'm going to go under that B and I'm going like two or three in. There's no magic number there. And then I'm just gonna put my crochet hook under from front to back and I'm just gonna grab a piece of yarn. All right, and we have the tail end of the yarn and the working end of the yarn. And I'm just gonna grab right towards the end there and pull that through. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold that tail down and however you feel, however you decide to kind of control the tension of your yarn, I just kind of wrap it around my fingers. I end up adjusting it a lot. I am not a um, pro crocheter, so I'm sure there's better ways to adjust the tension. This is just the way I figured out. So anyway, we have that. Okay, we just went in again, pulled the yarn through. <clears throat> And then I'm holding down the tail of the contrasting yarn color. Adjust my tension. And then I'm going to do a slip knot. All right, so that's my first stitch. All right, then I'm going to go into the next stitch over. And that's right there. And I'm going to take my crochet hook from the front to the back. And I'm going to go in under the V. And I'm going to grab the yarn. Now, now we're doing single crochet. So front to back, grab the yarn, pull it back through, and you'll have two stitches on your crochet hook. At that point, you grab the yarn again and pull it through both stitches. All right. Now, this is probably a good time to just talk about the knit, the difference between knitting and crochet. With crochet, you're always going to have at the end of completing a stitch, you're going to only have one stitch on your crochet hook. You know, in knitting, we, we move the needle, I'm sorry, we move the stitches from one needle to the next. You know, we always have the same number and it's, with crochet, you're only, you're dealing with one hook, obviously, as opposed to two, and you're only gonna have one stitch on your needle. If you end up too many, and when I started crocheting after knitting for many years, oftentimes I did end up with too many stitches. So that's just uh, something you have to keep in your mind. All right, so then we're gonna, so we went under that V right there. So we're gonna go under this V. All right, gotta get under there. All right, and we're, and we're gonna grab the yarn. We're gonna pull it through. We're gonna grab the yarn again and pull it through again. All right, so let's go on to our next V. Front to back. Grab the yarn, pull it through. Grab the yarn again, pull it through again. Always ending with one stitch on your crochet hook. All right. And the other, so a couple things to bear in mind, keep your tension consistent. 
and keep it loose. You don't want this really tight. Uh, if it's too tight, it, it will pull in, okay? And, and always try to work on the same plane. Like when you're picking up your stitches, make sure that you go in the hole that's on the same plane. You don't want to go in, you know, down here on some and up here on others because it will, especially if you're dealing with a contrasting color, it will really show. All right, so I'm gonna keep going under those V's. The V's make it really easy on the cast on and bind off row. snug. I'm, I'm a tight knitter, but that gives you a good, you can see the bee there. And you're just going to continue picking these up under the V's. Okay, we're coming along. See how nice and neat that looks? Really finishes it off nicely. Closing in on this corner here, and I just want to show you that. So once again, we're still just going under all the V's. If anything will break you of casting off too tight, it will be binding off too tight. It will be trying to pick up under your V's Okay, I'm gonna show you how to go around corners and also we're gonna grab this tail and hide it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and out of the corner stitch with the single crochet four times. So that's one, yep, just catching things, two, Three. And I'm wrap I'm gonna wrap up this all of this yarn inside of my edge. Okay, so if I hold it close to the edge, the uh, crochet will basically just wrap it up for lack of a better way to describe it. Alright, so I've just turned that corner, four stitches there. And see that getting four stitches to, on the corner makes it kind of a nice crisp turn. And you can see how nice and even that is. We're not ruffling. Um, if we were flaring out, we would have too many stitches. And if we were kind of ruffling, you know, a little bit, we would have too, too few stitches and we would need to unwind and do a little bit more work. Typically on the bind on, um, the cast on and the bind off row, you don't have to worry about that because you're, you're picking up stitch for stitch. On the vertical edges, you might have to finagle a little bit. Oh, we're about to get a visitor here. Um, so I'm going to try, um, I'm going to do about two stitches for every three rows. So that was one, two, um, I'm going to skip that one. All right, I'm just going to continue in that pattern, holding this, sorry about that, holding the thread, my tail in my hand there. So underneath the bees. Hold that tail against the edge and you'll work, just wrap it right up. At some point you'll want to just trim it off, but we're going to just work with it for a little bit. Somebody here is looking for love in all the wrong places. This typically happens when I'm working. going to grab my scissors and snip that off real quick. One thing about on your vertical edges, 
you know, at least uh, kind of stay in a pattern since you're not picking up every stitch. Um, if you're gonna do every two stitches for every three rows, then stay that the whole way so it does look neat and even um, throughout. And the other thing I wanted to point out too is make sure that you stay on the same plane. So make sure you're just going right underneath the edge stitch and that you don't have some stitches down here and you know, so that it's a straight, um, both on every edge you wanna do that. Now you do notice like on your bind off and cast off edges, you have more stitches than you are gonna have on your vertical sides. But as long as you kind of keep it in a pattern, you know, that looks nice. Now we're getting back to the corner. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna work four stitches into the corner. And you know, my other words of, of guidance are to keep your tension light, you know, keep it, don't go too tight. Um, and if you're using the same color, I typically do the edge in the same color, you won't even notice that um, your edges are different than your bind off, bind on, and cast on, and bind off rows. But it really does neaten it up. It just makes it a nice, neat project. And the other, one other thing I wanted to tell you is make sure that the side that, like this is, even though this is a reversible knit, um, when you are picking up, make sure to have the right side facing you because the right side is just a little nicer than the back side. Not that there's anything wrong with the back side, but the right side is just that much nicer. All right. Okay, we're back around and I've done four single crochet in that last corner and I'm just gonna show you how to join them. I'm just gonna go underneath that V. All right, come along. Let's see. Okay, and I think, yeah, in the, this next V is where we made our very first stitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the V that's on the top of the the pink V, okay? And I'm just gonna slip stitch, slip it through. I'm try to get that as close to the edge as possible. And then I'm just going to weave that in. And here's, I've got, so that's where I started and where I ended. So we're just going to weave both of those in down here. I'm just going to weave in and out my crochet hook. Grab them both. And just like that, we are done. Okay. Um, this really finishes it nicely. So I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, uh, pop them in below and I'll check back and make sure that I answer them. All right. Have a great day.